Hey guys, what is up? I really welcome you to the official YouTube channel of King Sam Graphics. This is your brother King Sam right here. And I, I thank you very much for coming back to watch the tutorial. If you are new here, thank you very much for coming onto my platform. Here I help people to unleash the creativity in them in terms of smartphone graphic designing. So if you want to blow your mind with designs using smartphone, consider subscribing to this channel and then turn on the notification bell to be notified when new contents are being uploaded. Alright, so today we are going to learn how to create um church flyer writing puzzle lab using blend format. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so before we get started, take just a second of your time, okay, and then hit on the subscribe button for me. Yes, good, you've done it. Alright, so like this video for me as well, and then kindly share to your friends for them to also get it. It helps us to boost the work that we are doing, okay, so thank you very much. Alright, so let's get started. I will leave all the resources um in creating this great flyer right in the description, so you can go ahead and download them to assist you in your design. Alright. So the first thing we have to do is to go ahead and delete this test right here okay because we don't really need it at the moment and then just click on this plus sign here to import our first image right into the work so i will leave the resource right in the description so you can go ahead and check it out good so this is our image right here okay the next thing you have to do is to stretch it from the corners not from the sideways okay from the corners to fill the whole screen okay good so you can take your time and do it very well all right, so let's say this view is okay for me. All right, go ahead and lock it. Good. So the next thing we are going to do is to add a fading gradient right to this image right here. Okay, so watch me carefully as I do it. But I have a video on how to make a fading gradient in, I think I have two videos actually, how to make a fading gradient in Pizzle Lab. So I'll leave the link in the description. Can go ahead and check it out. So watch me carefully as we do this. So go to shapes. Okay, so this is our shape right here okay good and go to gradient okay so we are going to set the gradient color so click on the plus sign right here so we have two colors actually here so one to the left and the one to the right okay so this one to the left right there or to the right sorry just click on it this way and then select black color so this black color right here okay good and then to the left this way just click on color again and then this way we are going to move this one. Have you seen the the one at the base here? We are going to move it towards this side to the left. Okay, way to the left. Okay, that's the transparent side. So just click on okay, good. So this way, this is the color that we want. The next thing you have to do is to move the black upwards. Okay, move it a bit upwards like this. And then make sure it's quite straight. Okay, not um tilted to the left or to the right. Make sure it's quite straight good so go ahead and stretch it this way okay so to the left and to the right okay to cover it. so stretch it to a point that you like so make sure that it's quite blending with the background okay so no place or no edge should be sharp it should be quite blending with the background so this is not quite good for me okay so what you have to do is to adjust this one good okay so this way to make sure this one is quite blending with the background everything is being perfect like this okay so this is okay for me just go ahead and click on the check mark right here so you can go ahead and lock it this way all right so let's continue we are done quite done with the background okay so we are going to have some few tests here and then we have some few effects to make our way complete the first test we are adding is his royal chapel just type in his royal chapel is Wire chapel. Wire chapel. Okay. Good. So this way is wire chapel and then capitalize it. Okay. And then change the font to meme font. So they maintain the color white and then change the font to this meme font. So idea. Okay. So you can go ahead and reduce the, the font size a little bit. And then kindly position it right in the middle. So this way, okay, can shift it a, a little bit to the right. Good, and then go ahead and lock it. 
this way okay the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a clause so let's draw a clause simple idea let's use this rectangle tool to draw the clause okay so let's draw the clause very quickly all right so let's continue the next test is present so his for your chapel presents presents okay good and um, okay so the fonts you are using is the font you are using is the area fonts right here okay so this way you can go ahead and reduce the size and then stretch it okay so the spacing should be quite wide and then position wide in the center okay so this way you can move it a little upwards so this way go ahead and lock it the next test we are adding is easter convention so just type in easter convention here okay so easter convention easter convention okay so this way capitalize it this way okay and then position right here change the font to the same area font right here the area fonts okay good and then you are going to use a background okay so enable the background right there so there's a background okay and then choose this color you are using this color as a background okay so this is a background color okay so with the background let's part it so to the left and then to the right the top let's reduce it a little bit and then and then the button to let's reduce it a little bit okay good kindly position right in the middle position right in the middle okay all right so this will go ahead and lock it okay good the next test you are adding is christ our redeemer okay so just type in christ our because you are using different fonts so christ our so this is okay and then just click on the check mark good and we are changing the font to signature fonts so I have the signature font so right here okay so change it to this font good and then stretch it a little bit and then kindly position right in the middle so this way Alright, so our work is really coming out. So let's continue. Okay, so let's add the next stage, which is Redeemer. Okay, so just type in Redeemer. Christ our Redeemer. Okay, so Redeemer. Alright, and capitalize it this way. Okay. And then change the change the color to the background color of the easter convention so this one okay and then change the font change the font style to this meme font right here okay you can increase the size a little bit this way and then you can space it a little bit up okay so this way and then kindly position right in the middle position in the middle okay and then go ahead and lock it so the next thing you're doing is to add a shape to the base okay so just click on shapes okay you can stretch it and then position it at the base this way good and then change the color you're using a gradient color okay so just click on the plus sign then use a radial gradient color okay so with the right just select a black color right there okay and then the the other one should be white as it's here okay so you can go ahead and just click on okay you could see the the black is quite overshadowing the white so let's stretch it let's move 
um okay so for this one let me select the white first okay it's not quite white so this is the white okay and then move the white towards the black side okay i want it to be this way can you see it good this is what i want to achieve okay can still move it a little bit so this way okay good go ahead and lock it if this is okay for you Alright, so we are adding our last test, which is um, let's type in come and experience Christ transform your life. Come, okay, so good this way can go ahead and reduce the size a little bit okay so this way let's change the color to black okay so color to black good and then change the font to area fonts change the font to the area fonts okay so this way and then position it to the base right there so you can position it right in the middle this way the shape of the base is quite too um, large, so let's reduce the size a little bit, okay? So you can reduce the size, kind of position it somewhere here, good. Go ahead and lock it. And then move the test a little bit um, to the base, okay? So this way, to be perfect on the shape. Alright, so we're almost done, but I left it one effect. We want to, uh, to make our work very dope, okay? So we just go on to from gallery. We have this lighting effect I want you to add, okay. So from gallery, and then this is the effect right there, okay. So you can go ahead and rotate it a little bit. Can you position it right somewhere here? Good, go ahead and lock it. Alright, so let's add this funnel right here, okay. So this one, good. You can go ahead and change the color, okay. Change the color to this background sorry this color right there okay so this way can we do the size a little bit good all right so the work is complete very nice flyer right there and I, I think it's quite simple okay so go ahead and leave your comment in the comment section like this video and kindly share to your friends okay thank you very much and see you my next upload